hello and welcome to my channel and this is the geometric symbol reading so you chose either symbol number one two or three and these are the cards that represent one two and three and i'm just cleansing your space just here and i'm going to have a real good feel into what you need to hear today <clears throat> excuse me so thank you for those who have been here before and i welcome the ones that haven't to my channel today and thank you for all your likes shares and subscribes and i encourage you to comment below i love the feedback afterwards because i like to keep the conversation going i love to hear what resonates and maybe some insights or some thoughts or whatever might have you know triggered inside you that you want to talk about and i, I love that and I'm, i uh, do my best to get back to everybody so please i encourage that conversation to happen okay so let's get into it i'm starting today with um the native heart healing oracle and then i'll be um digging deeper and using the energy and spirit oracle deck to get a bit more insight so let's start with card number one so this one is the earth star chakra and with the earth star chakra it is you know what i'm going to read the book just for these three cards um, just to get a little bit, I, I've been guided to do that. So let's just see why, just to get it. Oh, I see. All right. So there's a little, um, I guess, activity meditation that comes in the book. So what I'm going to do is after this, uh, when I post this reading, I'm going to take a photo of what it says in the book for you to do with something active that goes with this card. So it says, Estar Chakra, past life connection, future visions, Respect yourself, others, and the earth. I know the earth is calling you at the moment. Whether or not you've um, been walking on the earth with bare feet, lying in fields of flowers, going into the ocean, you know, walking in the mountains, in the forest, all those type of things really are calling you. This Mandela, sorry, that was my piece. I, I just uh, channeled that and just popped that in. This Mandela, uh, the book says, this Mandela brings you the aligning energy of the earth star chakra this magnetic star anchors your universal self deep within the earth's core in addition this chakra is key in accessing your past lives understanding your current life and drawing upon the wisdom of your future self aligning this chakra is aligning to your inherent infinite self and that of the collective consciousness to bring a feeling of wholeness respect is of the essence with this chakra both the respect for self and a deep reverence for the unlimited potential this card may help you to integrate. The Earth Star card Mandela also guides you in clearing your energy field on all levels and may indicate that you have taken on the energy of another through the role in service. If you feel like this is be, uh, this is this to be so, you are guided to complete the third clearing exercise below. Okay, so I will share that in the comments below. So this card is all about connecting with earth, making sure that you are keeping your energy protected and not blending too much with others. Now in this role, when I work, I blend with my client completely. So it's very, very important that I spend time before preparing and afterwards disconnecting to come back to self. Now this is what this card is asking you to do also. So let's dig a little deeper and see what... The energy and spirit oracle give you as well okay the first card is oh arcane archangel radial justice harmony uh, solutions freedom moving on letting go and finally connections partnership contract commitment okay straight away you get a big gun the archangels are the big guns they come in when they are needed. So I know that at the uh, currently there'd be a situation that calls for uh, maybe mediation or weighing up the options to see which way to go, and there needs to be a decision that has to be made. Now, call in 
um, your earth star chakra, connect with, with mother nature, get out there and, you know, really contemplate both scenarios. Sit in the one scenario as if it's true and feel how that feels and then the opposite. Now, I feel like I've said this recently. So if you um, got that uh, guidance last time, then you need to do it some more. If you didn't get it last time, then this is a whole new situation. So if um we're, yeah this is all about balancing up your options seeing how you feel um and the repercussions of it and call in your the big guns all right call in your archangels to help you through this process now when you choose which way you're going to go remember that it's going to bring more freedom than restriction so one of these options are more like you know, uh, you might do it for another person or a situation because you feel it's the right thing to do, but it still weighs you down. It still keeps you feeling like you're not coming to your full potential. Now, as you see with this freedom card, we've got, um, you know, a beautiful bird spreading their wings coming out of a cage. Um, so, one of these decisions will really give you that. Now, I'm not saying the other decision is wrong. But there's one that gives you more freedom to be yourself. And the one that brings you more freedom to be yourself is the one that I'm being guided to say is going to bring you, I guess, uh, not as much stability, but much more choice. Not as much stability, but much more choice. And in that power of choice and in that new space that you will find yourself, you will then be able to make more um, connections with uh, others you you'll be able to grow within yourself and be around more like-minded people so it feels like there's a choice now I'm not giving you I'm not telling you what to do that's not this idea what the idea here is for you to weigh up both choices one is one that's going to keep you in your situation a little longer um, the other one gives you more freedom one of them gives you more stability the other one gives you more unknown but where's the happiness is it time for you to to you know go out and and try something new because um that that is your choice that's what i'm getting that's what i'm getting but i only wanted to do three cards for you but i've, I've been told that you know, i need one more to clarify because they're both not wrong they're both not wrong either. Some people like to just choose to stay where they are a little longer, a little longer. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've got another archangel, another big gun. Um, and when you're out in nature, it's time for you to really sit and You know what? This is what I'm, what I'm, what they're giving me. You're lying on the ground on your back, like star shaped, and you feel whatever is holding you back, just being absorbed by the earth, pulling it from your head, your shoulders, your arms, all down your body, your legs. Just, just be in a beautiful acceptance where you just give all the heaviness to Mother Nature. Let her absorb it and transcend it into love and light. Let her pull it down to the core of the earth and burn it to smithereens and transcend. Like just really have that intention of letting go the heaviness. And then once you rise back up out of that, you'll then have a clarity that will help you choose which way to go next, okay? Because in that you're going to find a forgiveness and go, you know, look, I, there was a lot of things that I went through. A lot of things that I had to experience to get here and it's sort of like a really big cleanse time for you at the moment. So this is just all your angels coming very close. You've got two big guns, like the archangels have really come out for you today. Call them, bring them close and just keep going forward at your pace. Don't get forced into making any decisions, but really feel one side and the other. One will bring more freedom, the other brings more stability. So which one is it that you're after the most, really is the message that I'm receiving here. So that is for the geometric symbol number one. And I hope that brings a little bit of clarity or at least something 
um, you know, a, a bit of a plan of what to do next. And again, like I said, there's a meditation that comes with this in the book, which I'll take a photo and I'll put it in the comments below. All right. Thank you. All right. So moving on, let's go on to geometric symbol number two. Oh, beautiful. We've got the solar plexus chakra. The solar plexus always excites me because it's all about the joy and the emotion. Um, and I'm just going to, again, get the book and read it to you. And I will post in the comments the um, chakra meditation below also. So the solar plexus chakra is all about empowerment, live in joy and stand your ground. Radiant one, step within your personal pyramid where, you, where you're empowered self awaits this card brings you the empowering energy of the solar plexus chakra your soul has called forth this mandala as you have allowed yourself to step outside of your power and your joy thus depleting your energy levels and undermining your self-worth release any feelings of confusion or remorse by simply allowing them to fall away take this opportunity to remember your brilliance step back within your power and take up the reins of life again with joy at your side your power is not a force outside of your body it, the power is within you it is the core aspect of your very being so this card is sharing with you that you have lately stepped out of your power. You've been drawn into other people's drama, the, you know, other people's circuses, so to speak. Um, and it's not your stuff, yet you're owning it as if it is. So it's time now just to sit still and pull back that power and, and really say, you know, what is it that I want to achieve out of this and um, what is it that I, I need? Now, I just had a fly fall, <laughs> sit on my face, like literally just land on my cheek just then. And I know that when flies are around me, I see it as quite symbolic, like there's been stagnant thoughts that I've been having or, you know, just ones that are stuck and I keep replaying them. So I know that that is very significant with this reading at the moment. So I know that you've been in a place of darkness, but to know that this card has come forward, that that darkness is now lifting and, and um, moving away from you okay so let's get a bit more insight with the energy and spirit oracle cards okay ancestors beautiful ancestors then we have archangel haniel joy blessings intuition which is so in line with the uh solar plexus and up from the depths, releasing difficulty. This is so beautiful because this is confirmation that this behaviour and this story you've been telling yourself is now moving to the past. It's not something that's in the present. So well done. Call in your ancestors. A lot of this stuff um, that you've been feeling has been quite burdensome, burdensome, which isn't all yours. It can actually be through ancestral lines. We can carry things from our ancestors. We can carry things from our mother's womb we can carry things that just aren't ours and it's time that you do cut cords with the do cut cutting cord type of meditations or visualizations or setting the intentions of of getting rid of things that aren't yours to carry when you heal yourself you heal the ancestors that have come before you or and the ones that come after you and that's where you are you're in a real time of awakening and you're in a real space of getting shit done you know clearing stuff that's no longer yours um so know that this darkness is well I'm, no, actually it's not i was about to say well behind you but it's not it's just behind you and it's getting behind you just now it's it's a current thing that's happening so and know that a lot of the stuff isn't your responsibility so to speak because it isn't even yours yet you're taking it on so you know Talk to, if you're blessed enough to still have parents or, or grandparents and or aunties, uncles, people that may know stories of the ancestors that have come before you, do a little bit of research. Tap into what's going on and what you may be carrying so it can give you a bit of enlightenment around what you need to be releasing, okay? Um, and, and send lots of gratitude because I know that they're, they're here in the spirit form around you, supporting you. But see, they've already gone through things that are similar to what you're going through now. The more information you have, if you're able to access this in the physical, you, it, it, it'll be great because you can set the intention what to release. If you don't know or can't access it, go within, meditate and find and they will come to you and give you answers. Now, if you find any of all of that or any or all of that challenging, then simply um, know 
that what you're going through is something similar. Your ancestors have gone through in the past and they got through it. You will too. Call in your archangels. Bring them close because this is so in line with the solar plexus. It's not funny. Joy, blessing, intuition. So if you've been pulled to card number two, know that you're on the right track because you're opening up that gut feeling. You're letting yourself feel. If you haven't done any work with intuition, it's time that you start opening that. It can go from anywhere from free um, YouTube, uh, I don't know, workshops or whatever might be on YouTube for free. Just start listening to things and opening it up. Practice in line. If you're in line in the bank, for example, and you've got people behind you, just visualize is it is it you know their gender perhaps or or what color the hair they may have or what clothes they're wearing and turn around and see if you get it right your phone rings who is it just don't look at your phone yet think about who it might be tune in and then look at it and see if it's right you know start switching that on because you've been in quite a dark place and in when we lower our frequencies it's very hard to connect and get things correct we look at things from a dark point of view we might get um in that dread space and and wait for things to get worse you know so just be very mindful because you've just switched that off you're switching it now you're switching it up and you're now focusing on what you want to get and in that comes love joy you know work towards what what is it you want what brings you closer to love what brings you closer to joy and your intuition will be switched on so if there's any little uh, mini courses that are in your area or anything like that feel free to reach out I have an online course that I make available sometimes um, which I'll, I'll do in the coming weeks or months so if you're interested let me know um and i also do it in person in uh in greensboro in victoria uh, melbourne australia so let me know also if that's something but if not with me i don't care just somewhere somewhere but it's time that you open that up and last but not least when you are releasing these um, old stories and these old darkness feelings and, and that type of thing to make room for the joy know that um, they can lift up and out so you can sort of feel it as it comes up and out but know that this will be not as dark as going in so usually when I'm working with clients when it comes up and out it can feel as bad as when it happens um, but it doesn't need to be, especially when you're with like-minded people and with, when you're sharing how you're feeling, you're, you're writing it down and all that type of thing. Actively work with this. But know that this is also confirmation that it's now the only way is up. Sometimes we can get so low and so dark and depressed that there's nothing that matters anymore because the only way is up. Like, you know, it doesn't matter what happens. We're just down and out. And we know that, you know what, when you get to rock bottom, it's it's actually good news <laughs> because you can't get any lower, right? The only way is up. And that is what this, this reading is all about. It's all about confirmation that the darkness is behind you. Take that step up. And yes, it may not feel great from time to time, but let it not feel great. Don't try to control it. Just release it and keep going. If you feel like you need guidance, reach out. Okay, and that is... No, yeah, okay. I've been told to get one more card to finish that up. I was going to say that is your reading, but they're like, nope, one more message. Just to confirm everything. Mindfulness, yes. Peaceful, present, quiet mind. So know that you're going to be able to slow that process down where that mind just ticks over and looks for the bad in things. And it became quite a subconscious habit. So just... um like I said, there's there's a nice little meditation that goes with this. I'm going to take a photo and pop it in the comments. So start there, start there. But but look around for you know there's there's uh, meetup groups, there's like minded people out there. You can chat on my page because there's a lot of like minded people that come. Um, you know, and, and look out for um starting to awaken yourself and open yourself even more and that'll be all part of your healing and remember your healing is other people's healings not only yours your ancestors the people who come be, 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 uh, before you after you and those that are around you so know that you are right on track and i'm really excited actually with this reading because it's it's absolutely lovely and it's a pat on the back to say you got through it it's now time to move forward and that is card reading number two okay and last but not least the wheel of creation so this is for the geometric symbol number 
three. So this is the Wheel of Creation. So again, I'll quickly read in the book. The Wheel of Creation is about movement, a new start. Embrace change. The Wheel of Creation Mandela offers guidance for new beginnings that are on the horizon. Big winds of change are gathering momentum and will soon be felt. If you choose to embrace the change and move forward with love, those winds will bring you great blessings. Additionally, this Mandela comes as a reminder that as the Wheel of Creation spins, we are born each day anew. Within every day there is a new tomorrow. Leave the past behind you and awaken each morning to greet yourself in the mirror with eyes of compassion and a heart that whispers be true to you. Exciting times lie ahead. Celebrate the now. Doing so, you will colour your future brightly. This is a fantastic card. Again, I'll pop the meditation um, in the comments. But the Wheel of Creation. Now, this is about pulling in every part of you. Sure, it's a clean slate, but don't remember where you've been and what you've been through. And all those little techniques that you've used because you're actually quite the healer. You, my friend, are a light worker. You have been placed here to change the frequency of the entire collective. Your job is to shine your light. So you have wisdom. You have experience. You have a connection and you have a frequency that needs to be shared the thing is everything is energy so whatever you vibrate you will spread and you share more love we will you, you will get more love okay so it's your job it feels like it's your purpose that you are here to help everybody shine hello we get the wisdom card wisdom of the margin mental clarity okay they're just chucking 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 okay animal totems and soulful appreciation okay so already you have um, an idea you have switched on and you have this clear slate and you're like you know what I'm going to start again with all this wisdom the thing is you are the oldest you've ever been which means you're the wisest you've ever been right and you're the youngest you're ever going to be as in right here right now you're the youngest that you're ever going to be from now on. So use that wisdom and use that youth and let it merge. You have the wisdom of the Magi coming through to give you that clarity so you can decipher through the emotional side, the rational side, and, and let yourself really get a structure. You are in creation mode. You know what you're here for. You are clearer than ever. And if you still are not clear, sit in this energy now and do the um, meditation that I share for this card in the comments and really because you're in, you're in the space now where you're just creating use the new moon the new moon energy happens every four weeks every four weeks we get the new moon and it and you can use the new moon energy leading up to it and just leading you know there's at least a week there that gives you all that energy please use it because in that energy you're going to be able to get momentum momentum okay and be very aware of the animals that pop up when they pop up and what sort of animals what strengths do they bring in what you know have you just had a dream recently of an animal just staring at you perhaps and you're just looking at it going okay that was weird I just saw an animal um now but it's not about that it's like what was the animal how did it make you feel what are the strengths this animal has you know, how do they survive? What's their threat? Like really tune into these animals because they're coming to guide you. They're not here for a coincidence. You don't drive up the road and a bunny runs past or a fox runs past for no reason. And, uh, you know, are they on your left-hand side, which is representing past? Are they on your right-hand side, which is representing future? How do they make you feel at the time? You know, you can do a lot of Googling and get a lot of opinions on what animals are and what they bring to you. But at the end of the day, it's about how did it make you feel? What were you thinking at the time? Was it negative? Was it positive? Are they confirming it? Are they telling you to, you know, watch what you think? Like you're the only one that can do this experience with the animals and they are here full force. The new birds, uh, there's new birds around you. I know there is. There's, you know, all these type of 
type of energy that's around you. And it, it doesn't have to be in person. It can be just, you know, seeing a children's book. Someone reads a children's book and the animal jumps out at you or a commercial on TV or anything like that. So they're everywhere, okay? So use that energy because they're all coming with your wisdom and Mother Nature's wisdom and the animal wisdom. It's all coming together because you've got this clean slate and it's now time that you get on purpose and raise the frequency of the collective. The fear mentality is waning, okay? Slowly but surely the media, um, the government or whatever, you know, we, we see or the collective, the people, like um, try to feed the fear. And it's up to you whether you jump on that bandwagon or not because this is your life and you create what you want. And whatever you do, you've got such a pull and such a high frequency that you're going to really create more of that. So the more love you breed, the more love will be bred. And so, you know, people that are just getting sucked in by whatever is going around, which is low vibe and fear-based, you won't get sucked into that. And they'll be like, oh, hang on a minute. What, what you're saying I've got an option? I don't have to believe this fear. I don't have to be low vibing. I don't have to be in my survival mode. No, you don't. Because whatever we want to create, we just can think about and we can bring about. So just be mindful of what you're thinking, okay? And in that, we get the soulful appreciation. It's heartfelt gratitude. It's the attitude of gratitude, being grateful for what you've got. You're, you're doing all of this, but it's time now that you share it. Because the more of us that are doing this, Again, we start raising the frequency of the collective. The love will vibrate through all this fear and all this change and all this unknown type of feeling that the media is, is, is um, giving us, okay? Um, and just be careful with your where you're focusing. Um, you you want to be doing things out of the love, out of the joy, not just for the money. OK, I mean, I've I've done many things before where I've purely gone to work for money and I won't get the clients. I just don't. I go to work because I know it's a win win. Their healing is my healing and I'm booked out. And that's how this works. It's, it's just that I'm so grateful with the skills that I've developed and the intuition and the connection with spirit and all of that stuff. The right people come. So if you're in a space right now that you're creating a new business and you're saying, well, I know I'm good at what I do. It's just that I don't think I'll get the clients or there's too much competition. That's the sort of stuff that you need to release because that's not true. There is so many clients for everyone. People come to you for you. They don't come to you because, um, you know, they, I mean, sure, they like what you do and all the rest of it. But at the end of the day, they come to you. So I call in my clients by saying, um, only bring people to me that are ready to work with me because I'm a straight shooter. Sometimes I don't say things to people that they want to hear, but I know being guided and so connected with my spiritual team that I'm going to give them what they need. And that's why you're here now to hear exactly this, that you're ready to take a next step to raise the frequency of the collective. How? One, you can start creating that business that you've always wanted. You can call in the clients and you will get them. You can just start um, really sharing your beauty by whatever you do. Does it bring me closer to love? Do it. And the more you do that, the more you'll inspire others to do it. You'll bring the love. You'll bring the joy. I already know you're the person who walks into the room that lights the room up and people are drawn to you just purely because of your energy. But make sure you're looking after yourself first. Self-love is the key here. Self-care. And with that, the people will come. Okay. And use that wisdom. Don't keep it to yourself. And one more. Conscious steps. Conscious steps. And have a look. Take your steps forward carefully and you can have a look that when she takes a step forward you know she could easily fall because there's nothing there but she's consciously taking a step onto the rock that she knows will support her she's not stepping into the un like you know the unknown she's stepping onto a rock that's already formed because she's trusting where she's going and that's exactly where you are you're trusting the next step there'll be a rock keep going Keep moving forward. And that is for the gym. gym, gym I can't speak. For the geometric symbol number three. So 
They are your readings for this topic, for this. Oh, and I just want to give one collective message. Uh -huh. Joy, blessings and intuition. Archangel Haniel, this is for everybody. And if you see, the, you know, there's the rebirth. We've got to birth the beautiful little chicks here. And, um, you know, there's so much yellow. There's a sunflower in the background. There's so much joy. Be mindful what you're focusing on. Let yourself feel. Let whatever's coming up for you, feel it and let it out to make room. Focus on love. Keep moving forward and know that, you know, if, if intuition is where you're at and you want to develop that, please drop me a line. I do intuition courses and I can help you on your healing journey. If not me, someone else. I'm sure you can find little classes and um, in-depth things on, on YouTube for absolute uh, absolute free. Um, but whatever it is, keep moving forward, okay, because we as a, as a collective have a really big job now more than ever coming out of this pandemic, moving into whatever's next. We need to keep the frequency at love, not fear. And I invite every one of you to continue doing that because that's what we are. We're beings of love. And if I could leave that with you, take care. Have an excellent day or night, wherever you may be. Be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. Take care. Peace out.